Well, guys, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, Thanks. I was just wondering uh, one thing. Uh, what does your mother think of the music you're playing right now? Uh, she's proud of us, for sure. Um, I think she when she came to one show. Mm -hmm. uh, she's nice. a musician. She's a singer, and uh, she's still actively singing. So I think uh, she instilled a lot of the drive in us to go in this direction. And um, you know, she's not sitting at home listening to death metal or anything. But um, I think she's proud that we were able to do something creative. And uh, is she is she also writing her own songs? You know. Uh, she was a pianist for a long time, and so she, I don't know if she actually composed anything, um, but she does a lot of classical stuff. Some of you, you both like that, her music as well? Do you yeah. see her? Yes, yes, we do, every time. Can you say, um, yeah, where you brought up music in a, in a liberal environment, or was it mainly classical that she tried to push into you? Uh, it wasn't really, from what I remember, there wasn't really much of either. My dad uh, was our dad acted in uh, local plays and stuff like that and my mom would would sing and so we grew up in church and would do choir and, and that kind of thing um, but there wasn't you know really there wasn't an abundance of rock and roll at the house but there, it wasn't absent either it wasn't that it wasn't they had all the Beatles records and all that stuff so it wasn't classical music all the time and you must listen to this they, they didn't care what we listened to and to that uh, just was there maybe a record sometimes you grew up maybe in a bit of a religious environment, maybe not? In I don't think it was, I mean, it wasn't that. We would go to church every Sunday, but it wasn't pushed down our throats. Because was there a record maybe that you brought home one day that that upset your parents? Uh, it was too much over the edge. I'm sure there was something, I just can't. There was, I remember when I was uh, uh, 14, I got a, uh, a motorbike. And um, I was so happy to have the bike, but I couldn't ride it until I got a helmet. And I was, I got a work permit so I could work. I worked at a fast food restaurant so I could save up my money to get um, a helmet. <clears throat> and I just couldn't, you know, the helmets were expensive and I just couldn't get there. And so my, I remember, I, I think my uncle gave my mom a hard time about some of the albums that I had. Mm -hmm. So I had to, if I gave up, um, I think it was um, Shout at the Devil and uh, Ozzy, The Ultimate Sin, I had the, the vinyls. If I gave them back to my mom, she would buy me a helmet. So. <laughs> Is it fair trade in hindsight? Or? Um, well, yes, because I went out, uh, it was much easier to buy the albums again than it was the helmet. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a similar story or is it? Uh, I, I mean, like I said, I, I can't particularly remember one one album that, I, I'm sure there was something, but. Did your brother paved the way maybe? With yeah, I think he helped me out in that direction. Because were you already maybe both you played piano too? I did. Did you yeah. did you play a little bit there together also? Or? I mean, as we grew older, we started playing together. Uh, I played guitar and he played drums. Not piano. No. No. No, we didn't play piano together. But was it from an early age already on that you thought, well, we both do play an instrument, we'll pull this off together, or something? I don't think we really had it in our minds that we would do something that collectively. Um, I mean, Chris had his own kind of band going on at the time. And uh, I mean, we would we would jam together and then, you know, write some stuff, but it wasn't necessarily something that we... Yeah, we never, we never tried to do this, you know? It really wasn't the idea of, we didn't sit down and, and have this big, you know, discussion or something and say, hey, let's, be, let's make a metal band and let's see if we can get a record deal and go on tour. Mm -hmm. You know, we just kind of, Randomly, all of the five of us um, got together and just started making hard rock, and then decided, well, I guess we can go drive a couple hours and play this house party and get some free beer and hit on some girls. And it, it, we just kept doing that and kept doing that. And um, the attention really, instead of us going out and looking for um, success or record labels and stuff like that, it started to come to us because we were doing all the, the work ourselves. So, um, but from the beginning, we never decided that you know we're going to be brothers in a metal band it wasn't yeah. but did he encourage you maybe to play guitar to practice a little bit or, or were you both on your own path uh, doing that i think we were kind of both on our own path i mean i definitely it was i think he, he encouraged me maybe not so directly but seeing him play music um probably instilled in me a bit of you know i want to i want to rock too can you recall one moment that you particularly remember where you felt proud a little bit, maybe, or inspired for what you brought in? I remember one time, the first time I ever picked up guitar, actually. I think we were on vacation, and I don't know if it was Chris or one of his friends that he brought with him, 
uh, had brought their guitar. And I was just sitting in the hotel room or whatever we had uh, on vacation and um, just picked it up and started playing it and it just felt right and natural. When was this? Do you remember? I don't even know. Um, Maybe when we were, when I was probably, what? 14? When I was like you 11? Were 14? No, yeah. I was 11. Right, and, I was 14. Yeah. Uh, so that would have been 1946. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that makes sense. <laughs> and um, yeah, well, because from then on, that that actually made you feel I want want to, to go and try to do this. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. Not, it definitely not it, knowing where it would end, but uh, it, it was that was the end of my piano career. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to struggle to to get that the change the piano for a guitar? It wasn't necessarily that that hard of a struggle to transition from from piano to guitar, honestly. 